In this video, we will talk about a neat new feature of Azure Files called default share level permission. So for those of you who have worked with Azure Files, you are aware that there are two places where you need to set permissions on Azure Files. You need to set permissions in Azure Portal, which are going to show which are going to be permissions of the Azure AD accounts or groups, users or groups. And there is also file level permissions that can be set and should be set, uh, kind of the traditional NTFS permissions that you need to set at the folder level um, or, or, or at the share level, or the root level of it. A lot of times you may want to eliminate the need to manage permissions in two places, or you want to grant permissions to um, all users at a certain level. And this is where the default shared level permission comes in. Let's take a look at, at this in practice. So let's open up our Azure Files page and go ahead and add a new Azure Files share. So when we go ahead and add a new Azure Files share, uh, we are going to either select or specify a new account. And let's go ahead and choose, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can choose any of these right here. And now you see we have two options. We can either specify permissions by typing in usernames or groups or by copying those permissions from a specific host pool, or we can enable share level permissions. And this could be either share contributor or share reader. And what that does is it makes it so that all authenticated users are given the same permission at the share level. So for those who have managed NTFS or, or on-premises Windows Server uh, file servers, you often would set up your share permission to give everyone full control and then do all of the lockdowns and, and security enforcement at the NTFS or the file system level. This is what the share level permission allows you to do. So if I were to set share level permission to contributor, that means by default, anyone who's authenticated is going to be a contributor at the share level. And if I want them to have limited permissions below it, which I usually would, for example, if I'm using this for FS logics, then you would use your NTFS permissions at the file level to restrict that access. When this comes in really handy is if you want to make everyone, including computer accounts, a share reader. For instance, when you're using this share to store your MSIX uh, packages, your MSIX images that are being used for app attach. So app attach is uh, leverages a VHD or VHDX container that gets mounted at the local system context level, not as an individual user. And by setting a share permission to be an SMB share reader allows hosts in your domain to automatically be able to read those VHD files that are stored on the share who, that, that can then be used to stage the applications and deliver those applications to individual users. So this is the share level permission that lets you either control your permissions only at the file level or set up a read-only access for MSIX app attach purposes. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.